Hey, you guys. Happy Thursday. So once again, thanks for a little bit of flexibility. I am coming in here live today, noon on Thursday this week, because we are traveling late tonight to Terre Haute, Indiana, to watch our oldest daughter compete in her conference meet. Don't ask why we have to go late tonight. <laughs> Lack of full research and communication on our part. So tomorrow we will be traveling home. And so today is the day for our weekly Facebook Live. So if you're unable to catch this now because of the date change, then come back in and watch it on the replay and comment replay below so that I can tell who's watching. I'm very excited about today's topic. And so here we go without further ado. For those of you that may be new to the group, new to watching, this is our weekly Facebook Live in our wellness community. My name is Jennifer Nisa and I am the owner and physical therapist here at Fit for Life Physical Therapy. Coming to you from my house actually because I work from home uh, on the business and then work part-time in the office. So today I am talking about rolling your ankle or a lateral ankle sprain. And I've had a couple situations pop up recently where I dealt with a runner with a lateral ankle injury. And when I hear something or see something more than once, it's a reminder for me to share. So today we're gonna to be talking about lateral ankle sprains. It's a very common occurrence, right? For some people more than others, <laughs> rolling your ankles. And so um, what I wanted to talk about first is well, what do you do in the situation where you are walking, running, hiking, and you suffer that acute injury. Hi, Veronica. I'm glad to see you. Thank you for watching. Um, so what should you do immediately or as soon as possible upon rolling that ankle? We call that an acute injury. The very best thing that you can do is follow the acronym of RICE. You want to rest the ankle. You want to elevate it. You want to apply compression by way of an ACE wrap. And you want to, oh, Rest, rest, I, <laughs> rest, ice, compression, elevate, rice. Those are the four things that you do. This is the joys of Facebook Lives, right, Veronica? <laughs> so those are the things that you want to do right away after you roll your ankle. And depending on how bad of a roll it is, you may need to see someone for that because what can happen if it's quite a serious injury is that there can be a little bit of a fracture in there. Now, usually what I recommend is wait a few days anyways, because you need time for the pain and the inflammation to come down. And if you run right to an urgent care or an emergency room um, and they x-ray it, they may not see the fracture that early on. What, what needs to happen is the bone, the body's healing mechanisms need to get stirred, you know, into action and what you see on an x-ray is actually a little white line when there's evidence the body is starting to heal the fracture. So give your body some time. You're gonna stay home elevating it, icing it, and putting compression on it. Um, if it doesn't seem to be responding within a few days to that treatment, then you may need to go get it looked at and make sure there's not a fracture in there. So why is that important or why is that even possible? Well, let's talk a little bit about the mechanics of the ankle. So um, there are some very, very strong ligaments that live on the outside of the ankle. So from that knobby little bone on the outside of your ankle down to the ankle bone, they are super strong. And what happens is when you roll your ankle, those ligaments are so super strong that they stretch, 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 stretch as far as they can. And then sometimes if it's bad enough, um, what they're doing is they're stretching is they're they're pulling on that bone and changing the mechanics of the joint and then if it's a super serious injury especially involving speed and force like in a sporting event there it actually can pull a piece of the bone away uh, from the bone and in that case you have a fracture so 
that is what literally happens when you roll your ankle. So the ligaments stretch and it, at the minimum, they change the mechanics of the joint because they pull on the bone. And in the most serious situation, they, they cause a little bit of a, of a fracture in there. So our body is miraculous, right? We have a miraculous creator and we are miraculous healers and your body will heal on its own naturally. But if you do nothing, you run the risk of a few things. Number one, those ligaments have been stretched out. And when they're stretched out, because they don't have a very good blood supply, they don't heal very well, very quickly, and they don't stiffen back up very easily. And so you are at risk for further injuries, further ankle sprains, right? Does anybody have that history where you roll it once and then you roll it again and then again and again because those ligaments have kind of been stretched out and you lack what we call then lateral ankle stability and you're, you're more likely to roll the ankle. So that's one thing. And the second thing you risk is if you don't change those faulty mechanics, then you risk walking around with faulty mechanics in that ankle. And if you're trying to do anything athletic, or really walking on two feet, you, you run the risk of losing ankle flexibility, range of motion, which sets you up for further injuries down the line. So, so the good news, what can you do, right? The good news is that we as PTs know how to look for abnormal movement. We know how to look at that ankle and tell if the mechanics have been changed by that injury. And most importantly, we know how to put it back. So, my um, my encouragement to you is if you have sustained an ankle injury, let a PT take a look at you, especially one that knows how to do this particular, uh, it's actually called a mulligan mobilization with movement. That's what you're looking for is somebody that knows how to do that. If they know how to do that technique, they know how to put that ankle back in place. Now, there may be others, but that's the one that I use. So I wanna share with you a little bit of a story, right? Because that's what connects us, that's what resonates with people. And like I said, I've had a couple stories that have happened to me lately, one of which I wanted to share with you. So over the past weekend, we traveled to Columbus, Ohio for the state middle school cross country meet for our littlest son. As we were spending time around the campus waiting for the race, we ran into some old friends of ours that my son used to go to school with. So this little seventh grade girl, and we're talking about how it's going and she's a new runner and she's having a great season. Unfortunately, the last time she raced was two weeks prior and she rolled her ankle at that race. She hadn't been able to run since. They rested it, they iced it, they used compression, they elevated it. They saw the trainer and eventually they did take her to a primary care doctor who said, yeah, everything looks good, don't think there's a fracture, you're healing well, uh, wear this ankle brace and you know, give it two more weeks or whatever. So she was gonna try to run the state meet. It was her first time running, it had been two weeks, wasn't hurting too much anymore, but there still was a little bit of discomfort and she was gonna give it a try. So I was like, okay, let me see your ankle. So right there in the middle of the field at the cross country meet, she took off her ankle brace, sure enough, could tell that that ankle had been, the mechanics had been changed. I pushed the A, did the mobilization, and she it took the pain away that she was experiencing. She popped up, put the brace back on, because that was gonna help her not roll the ankle, and off she went and ran the race. And I checked in with the mom a little bit later to see how she did, and she said, actually, she ran a PR, which is a personal record if you're new to cross country, and the ankle felt great. And so just wanted to share that as an example of, she probably would have been able to run that race, but maybe not as fast and certainly without the discomfort that she had. And so if you have had a history of ankle sprains, whether it's new or remote, meaning in the past, uh, my advice would be get it checked out by a physical therapist to see, especially if you're struggling with a little bit. That's what happens when you go live at home and daddy comes home. Um, if you're struggling with a little bit of discomfort, I encourage you to get seen by a physical therapist who can take a look at that um, if you think you can benefit from this technique. So if you are curious about whether or not you could benefit from this situation, 
then I encourage you to use the Ask About Availability form, and I'll put that below this video. And you and I can connect on a one-on-one -on -one basis to see if this is something that you could benefit from. So thank you guys so much for watching. Everybody have a great weekend. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon.